everyone and welcome to the Great Managers Masterclass on building your inner strength as a leader. What I'm going to show you in this masterclass will increase your understanding about inner strength as a leader and why it's important and give you tangible things to practice that will make you stronger, more confident and more resilient. So get ready to take some good notes because in our session today I'm going to cover the what, the why, the how of building your inner strength as a leader and the benefits of doing this. So let's start with a definition of inner strength. Here's what the dictionary says. The dictionary says that inner strength is integrity of character and resoluteness of will. It's mental resistance to doubt or discouragement and fortitude. It's confidence or power that comes from inside oneself. So hands up if you'd like just a little bit more of any of that. So a leader with inner strength has the mental and emotional skills to confront and manage the challenges of life. Because being a leader isn't always easy and I know that you all know this. And over the years I've seen many leaders finding themselves in difficult situations or facing obstacles where they avoid them or deny them or dictate or succumb to the situation instead of finding the strength to deal with it in a skillful and courageous way. With inner strength, you have the option to choose your behavior and reactions instead of being ruled by them. Inner strength makes you feel more powerful and in charge of yourself. Inner strength is about closing your performance gaps. We all have them. And it's about generating lasting change. And people with inner strength set a great example, like you said, and inspire others. And people with inner strength persevere despite the challenges and they get great results. Inner strength is built over time. It doesn't happen overnight. There is a starting point that we build upon. It takes time and self-discipline and persistence and practice. There can be a perception that the development of inner strength requires a lot of mental and physical strain and effort. And this is not necessarily true. Yes, it might involve some discomfort as you go, like the development of any skill. And like our little weightlifter guy is experiencing here. But you can develop inner strength in a gradual, simple way by practicing different thinking and behavior and persevering over time. And guess what? You might even enjoy it. So let's have a look at my fabulous four tips for building your inner strength as a leader. And you're not going to be surprised to hear that some of your great manager's skills are going to come into play here. So we're going to talk about the ones that you might need to dial up to build your inner strength. And these four tips are what I call the ABCD of building inner strength. So A is for amp up your awareness. We all have some level of awareness and whatever that level is, it's time to amp it up to take it to the next level. So this is all about paying attention and increasing your ability to focus. And to do this, you need to strengthen your observing self, your mindfulness. Remember in strategy one, we learn about be where you are now. To be a great manager, you need to notice more than the average person does. You need to notice your own patterns, your style, what works and what doesn't. So B is for build your achievement drive. Achievement drive is the level of desire, effort and commitment given to individual goals. And you can build this drive and make it stronger. This is something that can be learned. So start by making small achievements making small achievements on something, your starting point, something important to you and tracking your progress. And you can make this your mojo. Marshall Goldsmith in his book called Mojo, How to Get It, How to Keep It, How to Get It Back If You Lose It, defines mojo as something that's purposeful and powerful. It's a way of being that allows someone to be very effective and successful. So if you make achievement part of your mojo, even making small achievements on a regular basis, your inner strength will increase. It's a great way to build your confidence and belief in yourself too. And high achievers get noticed. C is for consciously think, consciously feel, consciously choose. We all know that awareness alone is not enough. 
Just being able to see something isn't enough to change your behavior. That's why you have to build this skill as well, this ability to consciously think, consciously feel, consciously choose and build it strong because this is the skill that moderates those amygdala hijacks that we learn about in strategy two in Great Managers. And we all have those from time to time. And this is the skill that moderates that emotional, impulsive, primitive part of our brain. And we need to have a good balance between thinking and feeling because some people are very logical and they value thinking over feeling. And some people are very sensitive and value feeling over thinking. But to be strong, you have to be able to access both in equal measure. This skill is about being aware and thinking, no, I'm not going to say that before saying something might da- that might damage your relationships and something you'll regret later. This skill is about caring about yourself and others enough that you will pull yourself up. None of us are perfect and we're all going to slip up at times. But this skill is about reducing the number of those episodes so that you're not going to lose energy through feelings of guilt or shame or remorse. So D is about deciding to get healthy because you cannot be strong if you're not healthy. The quality of the food you eat, the way you move or exercise, and the quality of your sleep are essential factors in high performance. Did you know that we are the most obese, addicted, and medicated cohort of adults in history? It's amazing when we think about that. We've got all this abundance available to us and we are the most obese, addicted and medicated cohort of adults in history. People are numbing themselves with food and other substances to get instant gratification or a quick fix or so they don't feel stressed or upset or whatever else. And our health is so important to the quality of our life and the quality of our thinking and our levels of energy and our health is our responsibility. So let's have a look at the benefits of building inner strength. What's in it for you? At Great Managers, we talk about valuing your energy like the precious resource that it is. When you're strong on the inside, you have ample energy and stamina so that when facing a challenge that depletes you, you will bounce back and you can recharge more quickly. Building your inner strength will help you achieve your objectives and goals, not just at work, but in your life as well. You'll become more resourceful and resilient once you tap into your inner strength. You can see yourself in action and you have the power to shape your leadership and life. You realize that you have this power when a familiar situation looms in front of you, let's call it one of your performance gaps, and you wisely resourcefully choose to go another way. People with inner strength stand out from the crowd. Every one of you has the opportunity every day to make a difference in your world of work through the way you approach it, the way you apply your great manager's skills and the actions you take.